After the recent patch, we have a new meta weapon king and it's the M5A3. God, this gun is so good. And I will show you in this video what you need to get the PP29 wipes from two days ago back or even better. So let's do not waste any time and let's start. 3, 2, 1, Ivan the German is back, glad to have you here guys and before we start with today's video about the M5A3, the new meta weapon king in Battlefield 2042, I really want to thank you guys for your comments, I really appreciate your comments. Under my PP29 video somebody mentioned the exact same setup for the M5A3 which I will show you today. The problem with ARs some days ago were that they are not as precise, the spread is were very shitty, as same as with the blooming and all of that, but they fixed it and right now ARs in Battlefield are so so good and that's why this setup is so strong. In my opinion even better than the PP29 for some reasons and I will show you the reasons in this video of course, but let's start with the setup. For the M5A3, before you have, and that's very crucial, before you have the 9mm ammunition you can play like a two times magnification three times magnific magnification i will recommend like some simple red dots the fusion or, or the a art holographic side it's enough um, after that you can still use the same sides but it's very important for this build that you get the nine mil ammunition the m5a3 is a very versatile um, ar even with the 556 ammo it's still a very good uh, weapon but the key for this build is the 9 mil. You get 36 rounds, an incredible fire rate, good to control, less recoil and everything is key. Let's jump to the barrel. Same thing, very important. If you do not have the shortened barrel, you get the shortened barrel like with Mastery 5 or 6. Um, you can play no barrel, let's say um, a normal barrel attachment or the longer barrel. I would really recommend go with the longer barrel, you lose a little bit of fire rate, but you get a better effective range and handling, you can handle the, the fire rate and the, all of that a little bit better. It's, it's a very mm. personal feeling, very subjective, but without yeah, any barrel attachment, like standard barrel and 9mm, the weapon is going a little bit crazy. I cannot tell you why, because, and that's the key, again, for this build, is the shortened barrel. You get a higher fire rate without any negative effects. That's so, so good. And for me, it feels like, okay, I got this higher fire rate. I can even control the gun better than without any barrel attachment. So it's a little bit crazy, but I, I can't tell you why. I tested it two days for now, and it's, it's, very, it's very good. Like, no attachment, it's meh. Long barrel, good, less fire rate, good, good handling and off that, good effective range, and short barrel, that's the key. High fire rate, very good handling, less recoil, and I will tell you something about the recoil just after my, my setup. My final thing is the under barrel. I would go with something to decrease the recoil while moving. With this setup, you are moving a lot, uh, you're flanking a lot, you're facing a lot of enemies, and that's why you are always in yeah you are moving all ways all the time that's why less recoil while moving is key or yeah if you're more stationary i wouldn't recommend it of course go for the stationary or nothing laser sight or something like that is a laser laser device is good but i really i would really recommend go with the less recoil while moving let's talk about for the pc players let's talk about or for a console you have to adapt it but the recoil is quite simple with the M5 and that's why this gun is so so good even on longer ranges. Just pull your mouse down to decrease the initial recoil. The M5 has a little bit higher initial recoil but it's very good to control. Just pull it straight down and you are good to go. I think I'm not a console player don't get me wrong but I think you can do the same thing on console. I know you have this aim assist stuff but it's not the holy grail so yeah, if the recoil pattern on PC is like just pull it down, pull it straight down, play a little bit around and you can get some really good long range takedowns with the M5A3 9mm and shortened barrel with this high fire rate. This is amazing. How do you have to play or how should you play the M5? Again, the M5 is very versatile. Even you can change the ammunition. I wouldn't, but in some situations you can change the ammunition. But go with this 9mm for this higher fire rate and very very short time to kill because of this high fire rate 36 rounds and as i said for me it's even better than the pp29 because it it's has this less time to kill and very good controlling over longer even longer ranges 
I like the M5. You can grab the M5 right from the start. This makes it also so, so good for everybody. If you're new to Battlefield, you started to, today, it's weekend. Play the M5, play it till you have the, the, the 9 mil round and then get a shortened barrel and you are good to go. This weapon is so versatile, that's perfect for almost everybody out there. Um, especially if you are a far, fast paced player, flanking a lot. The reload speed is even quicker, so go with the M5 right now guys, till they, they will nerf the, like the shortened barrel maybe, or even the 9 mil ammunition for the M5. I am not sure, but I think something is going on, because right now this weapon is so strong. With that being said, I will thank you again for watching this video. As always, you know, I really appreciate the chit chat with you guys out there. So don't forget to comment if you want. And as always, we Germans want to win. That's a must have. We Germans want to win something. That's why I need your like for this video. As always, stay safe and see you at the next one, guys.